Ica, Peru, here in 1961. Workers in the Okukahe Desert unearthed a collection of carved andesite stones, many depicting what appear to be human encounters with dinosaurs. And since then, approximately 50,000 of these mysterious stones have been found across the region. I have photographed some hundred of it in a collection in the city of Ica. And there was an old professor, Dr. Cabrera. The Indians brought him stones from all over the country of Peru. And on these stones, you see fantastic engravings. Peruvian physician Javier Cabrera began researching what had become known as the Ica stones in 1966. Ranging in size from small pebbles to large boulders, Dr. Cabrera's museum preserves over 20,000 of the strange rock carvings. All dinosaurs died about 60 millions of years ago. So normally, no human being should ever have seen a dinosaur. But there are wonderful pictures, engravings on stone, where you see humans and dinosaurs together. Sometimes the humans are even riding on the back of the dinosaurs. What we have here is an uh, Inca burial stone, which is very unique. And what it depicts is that man and dinosaurs live contemporaneously. We see the various Triceratops, Brachiosaurus, and T. rex, uh, those type of creatures. So these uh, Incas had to either see them or they knew a lot more about the dinosaurs because they drew them precisely. Although many ancient astronaut theorists believe the stones date from the 5th century BC to the early 13th century AD, there are those in the scientific community who remain skeptical about their origin. But consider this. Just the enormous number of stones would have required that an artist carve more than 1,000 of them a year, every year for 45 years. But even if the Ica stones are proven to be real, more questions remain. What happened to the dinosaurs? Did they simply get hunted to extinction? If so, by whom and why? Imagine a period in time when there are very few human beings about on this planet. And maybe there are dinosaurs about. These beings could easily kill our ancestors. If our ancestors were in an environment where there were dinosaurs, this would be the greatest threat to their survival. Might the dinosaurs have proven to be too big, too territorial, or simply too deadly for mankind to allow their survival? Or was their demise part of a larger plan? Not by humans, but by otherworldly beings, as many ancient astronaut theorists speculate.